It's the question so many people have been asking since the last COVID relief bill. Where is my next stimulus check? We know many of you, our viewers, really need those checks. And tonight, new data shows sending money to people with low and moderate incomes will boost the economy. Our Washington correspondent, Samantha Manning, joins us live. in Samantha, this comes as President Biden has pushed for more COVID relief. David, President Biden is pushing for more $1,400 stimulus checks, but there are still questions about who should be eligible for that money and the impact it'll have on our overall economy. All right. Come here. Struggling Americans across the country say time is running out and more help is needed now. It's maddening, it's frustrating, it's defeating. All eyes are on another round of coronavirus relief aid and the potential for more direct stimulus payments. No President Biden has proposed a $1.9 trillion plan. More and more voices across the country recognize the urgent need to get American families the help they need. The nonprofit research group Opportunity Insights looked at how people were spending the $600 stimulus checks sent out earlier this month. It found that low-income families spent the money quickly, giving a boost to the economy. But many households earning more than $78,000 a year typically only spend around $45 of the 600, meaning they weren't putting much of that money back into the economy, and many of those higher income families are now back at work. So the group recommends targeting the next round of stimulus money for those most in financial need. Negotiations in Congress, meanwhile, are ongoing. Anything that we do related to the coronavirus needs to be targeted, it needs to be fiscally responsible. It needs to take into consideration the fact that uh, every dollar that we spend is a borrowed dollar. We want to work with our Republican colleagues to advance this legislation in a bipartisan way. But the work must move forward. And President Biden has said he's willing to negotiate the terms of his coronavirus relief proposal, and those talks are ongoing. Live in Washington, Samantha Manning, Channel 11.